Hello, it's Simcraft again, and we're here at the final stages of my Funko build. On the last uh, video, you could see that um, these flaps were reversing. That's okay for the ailerons either side, up here, left and right, but the ones inside have got to work together to come like that, but they were going left and right but I've just reversed that one is that on can you see my finger pointing there I've reversed that one so when I put the transmitter on the receiver should and the servo should make it go like that to break let's see if that works well I'm going to put the just going to put it on now Okay, that's my transmitter on, and if we go, if we go, there, now that is only, I think, 20%, uh, now if we put it on, flapper ons, no, flaps are at 20%, we're going to put them down if we put them at 50 see what that looks like now there we are that's 50 percent I'm not sure what they uh, recommend in the book but we'll soon find out but we're just showing you it's about 75 that's 75 and we're going up to 100 now 100 um, breaking flaps there we are the maximum now is 125 percent there you are as you can see it works if you want to see how to reverse your um, servos one of the servos not both but you can actually buy um, a unit for about 10 pounds or more but I've done it for free all you need is a soldering kit um, some tweezers would be useful and one of the one of the little um uh we've got the tweezers there some tweezers here and one of these little um uh i think they're watchmakers um that's not the right one but a smaller one that you have to get as the smallest possible you can get those kits quite cheap or from ebay or from maplin or something or from uh, your local uh, DIY shop. Um, I think that's it. One of these. There you can see one of these crosshead screws, but the the smaller, smaller type. There. That's to take your servo case off. Take your four screws out. Reverse the motor um, screws and the. There's three screws going to the pot that's deeper in, which is a bit difficult to get at. You reverse the two outer ones to get this to happen. There. There you are. Um, the final part of this build will be to tidy it all up and uh, put the uh, gear in, put the motor in. That will be the next thing. The next video will be the motor and then I'll put the decals and it'll be ready to fly that's about it um, I could also say that um, I've actually decided to use um, reinforce it with uh, hot glue I don't know if you can see the shiny bits of hot glue that I've put on all the, um, the connectors because I'm a bit worried about this um, I was using Gorilla Glue I've used a combination of actually Gorilla glue and hot glue and if one fails the other one should hold so I've uh, doubly ensured that it's going to be a safe aircraft to fly so I've used hot glue one of these one of these um, hot glue machines heat it up and then you just squirt them and I've uh, reinforced every one of these uh, connectors you can put your servos in as well with this hot gun I quite recommend it so it's, it's I've only started using the hot gun 
but um, I, I like it now. The other thing I was using was um, Gorilla Glue. That will fix um, that will fix a lot of the parts together. But if you want some flexibility, the hot glue tends to it um, it both um, connects it quickly, quicker than Gorilla Glue. You don't get all the foaming. But they tend to come out in little blobs, but um, it uh, dries quite clear and it looks quite nice. It matches the the white frame, the white wings and uh, fuselage. So the next thing I'm going to do is connect all the electrics up, put the motor in and the decals. So see you in part, well the last part, no that won't be the last part, that will be second from last because the last part I'll be flying the aircraft so there's two more videos to go right so that's um, the motor and the electrics and the setup and center of gravity and then the last video will be it taking off and flying okay let's leave you with the with this look it's waving goodbye I'm pleased about this, I must admit. This has been a fun club. Fun club and very much uh, very enjoyable um, to build. Okay, I'll leave you with that. Bye for now everyone. Bye. If you want to comment below or ask any questions, leave a comment below. Bye.